Okay, so it is now the next morning. I've got the axe all ground, and uh, I'm super excited about how this looks. Um, on, the, on the blade, it's now time to start my normalizing cycles. Um, and through those normalizing cycles, I'm gonna work to build up this nice, crunchy, forged look on this blade so that uh, when it's finished, it'll have that really cool, uh, cool forged look to it. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to get my measurements laid out onto this nice eight quarter chunk of red oak um, for the handle so that while the blade is going through the normalizing cycles, I can be working on the handle. Um, so let's get to it. All right, so I've got the handle shaped. It's really close to being finished. Um, and the blade is heat treated and tempered. Um, you might've seen that I did a torch temper um, and that allowed me to make sure that the body and the socket or the, the eye, all of that is nice and soft and, or not quite soft, but softer and durable um, so that it can absorb the shock while letting me control the heat on the blade um, so that it can take a good edge, but it'll also stay tough. Um, last things to do are to um, finish the head of the ax and then sharpen it. And uh, for a finish, I'm going to be putting it in ferric chloride for, oh, 30 minutes and I'll check it and see where I'm at. Um, what that's gonna do is give this a really nice dark color. Um, when I when it's on the handle and ready to go, I'll hit it with a little bit of a lanolin oil, um, really darken it up. It'll look great. Uh, it also it'll also help protect it from rusting. Um, and then I'll sharpen it and put the final edge on it. And uh, and then after that, we get it hung on the handle. I still need to put a uh, put a slot in here, cut out a uh, wooden wedge, and then forge out a steel wedge. Uh, but that won't take too long. I'll be able to do that while the while the blade is in ferric chloride, um, and then we'll be ready to chop and hack.
super happy with how this came out. Um, it feels great. It's sharp. It looks good. And uh, yeah, I'm real pleased with it. Um, I haven't forged an axe like this before. I'm thinking now I want to do another one using what I learned off of this one. Um, I'll be the first to admit I am not a pro at hanging axes. So it's a little rough. It's split. I know oak isn't the best thing to use for an axe handle, um, but it's what I have. And, uh, but uh, otherwise, I am super excited about how this turned out. Um, so, if you like this video, um, please click the like button. Uh, if you want to see more of what we're doing, go ahead and subscribe. Um, and thanks for watching.